Yo, what's going on on you Israelites? Show boy, 21st Century Moses, bring you guys another video today. And it is with great anticipation and excitement that I am bringing you guys the official Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer reveal trailer breakdown here on my channel. So let's, without further ado, let's get go ahead and right into it. As you guys can see, may contain inappropriate children, blah, blah, blah. As you guys can see, we've got some characters running around the map. This is what one of the maps looks to be like. As you guys can see, a lot of grass growing around. These people are coming in off the wall doing some free running. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here. As you guys can see, the customization in this game, how the pants look different, the chest looks different, the helmets and everything else looks different in this game. All dead. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in right here. This is the first look at what it actually looks like whenever you're playing the game. So he is playing Domination. It looks to be like we got three lanes going on. One, two, three there in the mini-map. So then you guys are probably wondering, what's all this stuff on your screen? You guys can see right here, he has three kill streaks select. He doesn't have that one up there. So I'm not sure if we're going to need some kind of wild card to activate his fourth kill streak. Or, excuse me, score streak in this game. But his UAV is 400 points that we're accustomed to. And now, what's this thing over here? We got a little little two things with a circle around it so this is actually a specialist so every second that ticks he gets a little bit closer to a specialist and whenever he gets to kill as you guys can see here in a second it'll go up a little bit so i'm not sure how many kills you actually have to get to activate it i'm gonna go ahead and guess somewhere around 10 or whatever we also has a tomahawk in here one of his tacticals you guys can have two so he has 30 bullets or his 30 bullets in his magazine 9 90 ready so that equals 120 in his man of war auto and as you can see his also other kill streaks selected so that's pretty much all we have right here. And then he gets that kill right there. It looks to be some kind of little drone right here. And then boom, you guys can see how much he actually went up. And then he went up 100 points. So boom, three more kills until he gets his UAV ready. Boom, two more kills until he gets his UAV ready. Hits him with that top, with that hot tomahawk. And then you guys can see this little thing right here. Where it goes from here all the way up to right here. A little bit depleted. So this is what I'm going to call your momentum bar. So every time you guys are doing some kind of movement where you're walking on the walls, doing some kind of juke, or you're just doing some kind of uh, moment where it requires a little bit of this, it's going to go down a little bit, as you guys can tell. And you guys will see more in the trailer. But then whenever you're not moving, it'll quickly replenish. But he has his gravity spikes ready, which is a specialist. So what you have to do is press your L as well as your R bumpers, and then it'll activate it at the same time. And then he's going to get this kill right there. And then now he has 675 points until this. I don't know what that kill streak is. Some kind of helicopter thing, whatever. And then activates his specialist. Pretty badass, you gotta admit. You like that. I know you did. And now he's using his KMR 262, his pump shotgun, 11 bullets, 33. And then he has two tacticals, as well as some kind of drone here for um, we don't know how many kills. I'm going to go ahead and guess um, 400 seems to be about right. I don't know if he got that kill right there. His team has 11 kills so far. Maybe he has a couple assists. Uh, we don't really know. As you guys can see right here, looks to be like two lanes going this way and then a lane going that way for the map. We don't know if this is three lanes, but it seems to be like most of these maps are going to be three lanes. And then right there, you guys can actually see he throws some kind of stun or something. And then something comes out of this window because it wasn't broken before. And then boom. You guys can saw it. It's the C4. It stuck to him, did some kind of thing. And then he throws that. Destroys the C4 for 150 points. And then he's going to end up killing this guy with one shot of a shotgun. Now he has the Annihilator ready as well. As you guys can see, his kill streak. So that's his specialist that he has selected. And then he gets another kill. Now he's going to pull out his Annihilator. You got seven shots. The best way I can describe this thing is like the pistol you get when you're Destiny, when you're a hunter. Looks to be like boom. One shot, one kill. His HCXD is the actual what the kill streak is going to be called in this game. And then boom, he got that feed. Did you guys see, see that? Whoa, and then somebody hit that, hit him with that quick scope. The Locust Bolt, as you guys can see here, he has the, kill, he has the UAV selected as well. He's playing TDM because there's 75 points to win. Uh, going back from the 100 um, points in uh, normal TDM. Then, whoa, he got this. You guys can actually see like some footprints on the ground or something like that, which is pretty cool. And then he has a sparrow, which you guys will see in just one quick sec. And his momentum bar is almost fully depleted. And then, boom, hits him with that quick snipe. Then we're going to actually go ahead and go back because I missed something. Uh, I thought I did. 
Okay, has seven bullets, and then he pulls out the Sparrow, which is pretty much just a normal boat. It has nine bullets in it. Each one is going to be a one-shot kill, and I'm going to describe this thing as something that all the snipers are going to use. Seems to be like you get some pretty cool clips in it as well. This is something I'm really excited for. I think it'll be a lot of fun to use. Seems like, boom, he's getting these quills, kills really fast. Also, the uh, kill feed in this game. It doesn't last nearly as long as it did in Advanced Warfare. Boom, those two kills were already gone. And then he gets those, blows up. Some other stuff going on. And then, boom. That was two bullets out of his gun. Did you guys miss it? I'll rewind it for you. Starts with ten. Boom, one, two. So this gun does have ten bullets. It's a uh, Shelvia. Um, it looks to be like like pretty much an FAL from other Call of Duties that we've seen. It has ten bullets in the clip. It's a semi... Um, see all his other stuff right here. It looks to be like this may be a two lane map. You guys can see where he goes these normal two lanes. He's playing hard point right over here. So hard point is back. It's confirmed. One, two, one, two. Pretty much easy. You know, we get these kills. And then boom, one, two, one, two. Got that headshot. He's on a bloodthirsty already. Jumps over that wall. Boom. So you guys can see how quick how quick he actually recovered after jumping over the wall. So this game is going to be very fast-paced. And then he gets this, and then he has his skill streak. Now, right there, it said the glitch was ready. I'm going to try and go ahead and capture it at the moment. Boom, he gets it because he just got a kill going up. And then it says the glitch is ready, so you guys can actually see what it actually looks like in real time. As we see this um, red thing in the background, I'm not sure what this is on his minimap. I don't know. No idea. I think it looks like what his glitch is going to activate him at or some kind of thing. But then he actually came up behind him and hit him with that quick one too. And then he gets quick hit with that quick one too. And now you guys can see here, we actually are using a robot. Uh, we guys can see all his kill streaks. He's using a Weevil, which looks to be like a submachine gun. Uh, looks to be like some pretty good submachine gun. And then boom, he gets these kills pretty quick. And then go ahead and juke under there as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward so looks or pause as I mean to say one lane, two lane, pretty much three lanes. So three lanes in this Call of Duty again. Then he has his scythe or scythe or something like that. You guys can see here in just one sec. So we already got his UAV for 400 points. And then for 50 more, he gets his care package, which you guys will see in just one sec. Boom. And then for 150 more, which equals up to a total of uh, 500, I believe, he'll get his Hellstorm. Or, no, it's called Lightning Strike. I, I apologize, I apologize. It's called his Lightning Strike. Boom. And now he's going to activate his Scythe or whatever this thing's called. Pretty much just to be like some kind of mini machine gun that pops out of your eye. I'm pretty badass, I do admit. Looks to be like he's getting it. Lightning Strike was ready. And you guys can see this thing. It was one of the kill streaks that people had selected earlier. Looks to be like some kind of death ball that drops from the sky, and it's gonna blow up right there. Um, stingers are confirmed. He got a kill in water, and then he's gonna jump up and get these other kills as well. Looks to be like something fell from the sky, and then some other robot-looking things. And then whoa, what was that? Let's actually go ahead and rewind, break it down for you real fast. As he has the Tempest, looks to be like that's the special or the uh, thing that he's using over here. And then he only has zero bullets left, so I don't know if this is a one-shot kit or if it's a one-shot use and then it works. But it, boom, whenever he uses it, I can't get the actual frame that I want. I apologize. So he got the Tempest kill, and then it looks to be like activates him, and then it activates his friend as well. I want to get this exact frame. So boom. You guys can see that it actually activates him. It reminds me of the Wonder Waffle from Zombies. So, um, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that specialty a lot. And then he's using a mothership. As you guys see right here, it has rockets as well as a uh, fire machine gun. I don't know how many score this is to actually acquire this score streak. Looks to be like this is the timer right there. So you guys can see, move to new location, zoom, exit. So you guys can, can move around. You guys can not be stuck in one place for this kill streak. And then we're going to go in and come to a wrap, but we got some other stuff that I want to show you guys. So it comes out November 16th, 2015. And then, whoa, we have one, two, three, four, five attachments, as well as optics, which pretty much six. And then you guys can see your paint job, as well as your camo for your Man of War skull. 
in the Call of Duty Gunsmith. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to put it at 0.25 because this moves very fast. You guys can see all the different stuff he has working with. You guys can see all this stuff. And then we got, look to be like dual mags. We got some kind of uh, maybe quick draw. We got a grip. We got some kind of stock. Um, silencer right there. Holographic sight. Um, I don't know what this one is. Um, looks pretty interesting. I'm really curious what all these different attachments are in the gunsmith. Something I'm going to have to master. We got dual mags right there. Maybe this is like some kind of FMJ or we got some kind of like heavy barrel thing going on. Um, some other stuff going on. And then go ahead and try and get this exact frame again. Well, this, this is going to take just a second as I'm rewinding. And then da 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 da. Boom, right here, you guys can see all the different colors that we have to choose from. We got our reds, oranges, green, blues, purples, wh white, all kinds of stuff like that. You guys can see we can change the color, opacity, toggled gradient. So I'm not sure what gradient actually means in this game. But if I had to go out and go on a limb, I'm going to go ahead and say, like, because gradient in Photoshop kind of means like patterns and different stuff where it, like, it just like mixes. And then he's using 28 of the 64 layers. So very very in depth for this game you guys can see he's stuck in his skulls as well as some other uh, stuff he's got going on his different layers and everything like that and the weapon paint feature is only available on the PlayStation 4 Xbox one as well as the PC so I'm sorry for all you 360 and PlayStation 3 users you guys can see his copy layer cut layer change decal insert new decal link uplink layers so I'm not sure what how you can link layers pretty curious about that group ungroups so that way you can move them the same as well as change them, save decal group, and in the US of A. Now you can see what it actually looks like as he changes through all kinds of different stuff, adds more layers. Then we can go ahead and change it on the other side. Then you guys, we got move emblem, free scale, rotate, blah blah blah, color picker. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then you guys can actually see I was using it in game. Looks to be like the only part you can actually change is the weapon, which I believe is kind of lame. You know, I was excited for the whole gun, not just this one little part. Which is a pretty big letdown, I'm not gonna lie. But oh, wait, it's something in the game. We actually we get it. So, as you can see, go ahead and go ahead this, and then pre order and get the beta access only available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as PC. So, it is gonna be available on the PlayStation 4 at first, coming out in August. So, Activision, they decided, you know, PlayStation to give, give us the most money this time, so we're gonna go ahead with them. So, the betas, as well as the DLC, is gonna be coming out on the PlayStation first. So pretty much just Xbox and PlayStation switched roles this time around. Um, uh, I don't really know how I feel about that. I got a little bit mixed feelings. That's going to wrap up the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, go ahead and smack that like button. Comment in the comment section below what you guys think about today's video. Subscribe if you guys are around here if you've done so already. Also, follow me on Twitter as well as my Snapchat down in the description below. And click one of the previous videos on the screen if you haven't done so yet. But I'll see you guys next time. Go out and have a great day and be happy.